There's a couple new things to show off in this release. First off, V7X startup speed has decreased significantly and it is much faster to start now. If you haven't noticed in pre the last build or two, there has been a new redesign of the startup menu. This just allows you to start up D7 with a few different options, uh, safe mode in case it's not starting properly for some reason. We also can launch kill em all directly from here in the malware search tool. We can access the D7X config from here. This is available if you hold control when you start D7X. Just hold down the control key or you can force the startup menu through here. Of course it's always been available. This is just a redesign of the startup menu if you haven't seen it before and uh, actually the addition of it allowing you to start the malware search tool. Once we get D7X open, I wanted to show you Dion Installer. The interface for Dion Installer has been now fully integrated into Kill 'em All. So when you start Dion Installer, you're starting Kill 'em All. When you start Kill 'em All, you're starting Dion Installer. In fact, here is Kill 'em All. So we'll just go over here. This is like our IFEO modifier, which we talked about a few releases back. In Dion Installer, we had an option for deleting file system and registry objects, and that is still here and now is fully integrated into Kill 'em All. It does have a new definitions format, so they will be converted when you update to this D7X. Your definitions will be converted over to the new format. What you want to do is click here and check out the rule documentation and that will tell you the format for all of these rules. These are your uh, blacklists. So all of these will be deleted when you click the delete button over here. That's the big surprise for this release. Uh, one small thing in your malware search tool you're going to want to update your definitions because the format for these have been modified as well. The definitions, um, it wasn't too long ago that this was modified and the definitions were reduced by about half the size. Uh, there was also a dual definition system implemented so that our definitions and your definitions were separate and that kept things a lot faster and allows us to provide definitions for everyone. You want to check those definition uh, updates periodically and the new ones were released last week. So that is separate from the D7X update process. That about does it for this video. I hope it's been of some help to you.